Keir Starmer has finally waded into the situation with Dawn Butler calling out Boris Johnson's lies in Parliament and then getting kicked out for calling out those lies. And the incredible, suave, forensic, prime ministerial Starmer had this to say. He said this on LBC. He said, I don't criticise the speaker, the deputy speaker, for what she did. She was following the rules. But do I support Dawn in what she said? I absolutely do. So, essentially, uh, Keir Starmer has said that he supports the deputy speaker for kicking her out, um, but also supports Dawn Butler for what she said. So, um, I think we should we should have a little little talk about that because I just think it's I think it's fascinating. Keir Starmer's leadership of the Labour Party so far has been characterised by an initial uptick in Labour's polling to the point where they're actually polling ahead of the Tories in most polls um, in the sort of mid to late sort of twenty twenty time, um, and then gradually a decrease um, as it became more and more clear that Starmer and his shadow cabinet not only were not up to the job but had a huge lack um, in terms of any substantive policy that they wanted to implement. They didn't seem to really have any ideas about how they wanted to change the country from a legislative point of view and would often support the government um, and refuse to criticise them even when it was blatantly obvious they should have. Uh, Matt Hancock broke the rules many times and Keir Starmer never called for his resignation. It was only after he uh, resigned that he said Boris Johnson should have sacked him. Um, and, you know, that's kind of been a big feature of the leadership. And this, I think, is the natural, the natural end point of that. Um, and that's a situation where, like it, look, like it or not, in the world of politics, usually... You have to pick a side and if you don't pick a side you have to be very very careful about how you frame your own point of view your own opinion and your own argument so what Keir Starmer is trying to do here is saying I support parliamentary procedure I support that and I support the deputy speaker carrying out that parliamentary procedure however I also support Dawn Butler for calling out Boris Johnson's lies now that actually isn't that unreasonable. However, it doesn't get to the root of the problem, and that is that the British establishment is very much oriented and constructed in such a way as to dampen and absorb and deflect as much criticism as it possibly can, right? Hence why when you call out the Prime Minister's lies in the House of Commons, the lies themselves don't result in the Prime Minister being kicked out or any other uh, ramifications, but you calling out the lies and exposing the lies of any other member of the House, even the Prime Minister, um, that is an offence worthy of being removed from the House of Commons. That's kind of a perfect example of that. And what Keir Starmer is saying is it beautiful microcosm of everything wrong with Labour's attitude towards the political and economic establishment of the United Kingdom, right? Because Keir Starmer is saying, I don't think that the Speaker is to blame, which is fair, right? But he doesn't seem to make an argument that the law or the rules should be changed. And then he says, I also support Dawn Butler. So basically what he's saying is, I don't think we should change the rules, but also... I think, you know, it was right for her to break them. What, what kind of message is that? Clearly, the obvious answer that you should be making there, right, which is a real, it's a real open goal, is to just say, I think it's ridiculous that in the House of Commons, like I just said, when you call out lies and expose people misleading the public and deliberately deceiving the British people in the House of Commons, you are the one who's reprimanded, not the person who's telling the lies. Not the person who's manipulating the figures. Not the person who's misleading the British people. How is that right? So yes, I fully support Dawn Butler. The Deputy Speaker was just doing her job. It's not her personal fault. It's the rules that need to change. And it's indicative of a wider problem where people pointing out the problems that the ruling establishment, both political and economic, uh, have, have inflicted upon ordinary people and working people. They are the ones who are reprimanded and not the people who are causing the actual problems. 
That's why we need a major overhaul of our political and economic systems. We need to federalise our political system, increase democracy, increase devolution. And we need to put more power and wealth in the hands of working people in our economic system. Right? And you say that, people find, oh yeah, okay, yeah, well they, yeah. That makes sense, doesn't it? Because the rules are being broken by, really the rules are, are, are being broken by the, the people in charge, but there's no consequences for them. But then when the rules are broken by ordinary people, there are consequences. We've seen that time and time and time again throughout the pandemic in various different ways. And in this case, that rule shouldn't even be in place because it's literally true. Boris Johnson has lied on many occasions and every single one that Don Butler points out, and I encourage you all to go and watch the full video of her, of her doing that, uh, is absolutely spot on. Absolutely spot on. So, <laughs> so Keir Starmer has once again managed to miss an open goal, um, which is a sad metaphor given how much the guy loves football, but there you go. Um, and I'd, I'd like to hear your thoughts on this because it's, I mean, we all know Boris Johnson's a liar. He lies all the time. I think there's very few people who don't think that's the case. But when you don't have a viable alternative, when you have an alternative that has no backbone, no spine, and no general vision or critique, substantive uh, and kind of easily digestible critique of the problems we have with our political system and our economic system, specifically around surrounding you know, the whole one rule for them, one rule for the rest of us thing, and how we change that, um, and how we modernise and things like that. When you don't have that, people aren't really going to wait, people aren't going to leave the Conservatives. They're just going to kind of accept, oh, well, that's how things are, but those other lot are even worse. And Labour are really doing a very, very good job of convincing everyone that they would be a worse alternative. I still don't think they would be. I still think the Labour Party would would make a better government than the Conservative Party. But good lord, it is hard to justify that at the moment. Um, and Dawn Butler has, has recently come out and said she, she would never consider standing for the leader of the Labour Party because she wouldn't be able to stand the bullshit. <laughs> um, and that's the problem, isn't it? The decent people, the people who have the backbone, the people who just tell it like it is and actually care about working people in this country, they, they're the ones who are smart enough to realise how dodgy the system is. And how, you know, how difficult it is to change it from a position of leadership. Um, because you will be undermined every step of the way. But someone has to try it. And I hope Dawn Butler reconsiders. Because I do think she would be a terrific leader of the Labour Party. And I think she'd be a good Prime Minister, if I'm totally honest. Um, but yes, I'm sure we won't, that won't be the last we hear of her. Because she's a very vocal person. She's a very, um, she's a massive critic of all kinds of different injustice and corruption in this country. And we need more MPs like her. So, yeah, what do you guys think? Do you think, I'd like to, I'd like to hear your, your thoughts in the comments because, you know, do you think Keith Starmer's answer is right and he should have just slightly changed the framing? Or do you think he should have fully backed the speaker and said, no, nah, Dawn Butler is totally in the wrong? Or do you think he should have, like, fully backed Dawn Butler in the kind of the way that I suggested? What do you think? Um, my word is not gospel. I'd like, to, I'd like to know what you guys think he should have done. Um, let's hope that the Labour Party can actually pull itself together and not seem so slimy and without any kind of principles or policies um, in the coming months. Uh, although, unfortunately, I'm not very hopeful that'll be the case. So, thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you in the next one.